Jang Jin Sung's dear leader, poet, spy, escapee, A Look Inside North Korea, is a captivating memoir that provides a harrowing account of life under the oppressive regime of North Korea. The author, a former high-ranking government official, offers a unique perspective on the inner workings of the country's political system, as well as a first-hand account of his escape to South Korea. One of the most striking aspects of the book is the vivid and often surreal imagery that Jang uses to describe his experiences. From the eerily quiet streets of Pyongyang to the heavily guarded border with China, he paints a picture of a society that is tightly controlled and carefully curated by the ruling elite. His descriptions of the propaganda that permeates every aspect of daily life are particularly chilling, as he notes how even the simplest activities, like watching TV or listening to the radio, are subject to government censorship and surveillance. Despite the pervasive sense of oppression, however, Jang's account is not without moments of humor and humanity. His recollections of his time as a government poet, for example, offer a glimpse into the complex web of relationships and power dynamics that underpin North Korean society. And his description of his escape, which involved a perilous journey across the frozen Tumun River, is both suspenseful and inspiring. At its heart, Dear Leader, is a deeply political book, one that seeks to expose the flaws and contradictions of the North Korean regime. Jang is scathing in his criticism of the government, which he describes as corrupt, hypocritical, and brutally repressive. He argues that the country's obsession with maintaining a facade of strength and unity has led to a profound sense of isolation and paranoia, both within North Korea and in its relationships with other countries. Despite its political focus, however, the book is ultimately a personal story, one that charts Jang's journey from loyal government official to disillusioned dissident. His account of his gradual awakening to the injustices of the regime is both poignant and insightful, and his decision to risk everything to escape the country is a testament to his courage and resilience. One of the most powerful themes of the book is the importance of human connection in the face of adversity. Jang's relationships with his fellow poets, as well as with his family and friends, offer a glimmer of hope in an otherwise bleak landscape. His description of the underground network of dissidents who work to smuggle information out of North Korea is particularly moving, as it demonstrates the resilience and determination of those who refuse to be silenced. At the same time, however, Jang's account is a stark reminder of the immense challenges that those who seek to challenge the status quo in North Korea face. The government's brutal response to any perceived dissent, as well as its ability to control every aspect of daily life, make it nearly impossible for ordinary citizens to effect meaningful change. Jang's own experiences, including the arrest and execution of several of his colleagues, highlight the risks and sacrifices that come with challenging the regime. In the end, Dear Leader is a powerful and deeply moving memoir, one that offers a rare glimpse into the inner workings of one of the world's most secretive and oppressive regimes. Jang's poetic prose, combined with his insightful analysis of the political and social forces at work in North Korea, make for a compelling and unforgettable read. At a time when the world's attention is increasingly focused on the Korean peninsula, his book offers a timely and important reminder of the human cost of dictatorship, as well as the resilience and determination of those who seek to resist it.